So you've seen the process from start to finish. You've seen the tiers. You've seen what the days look like. I've showed you what projects I built. I even answered your questions. But there's still one question that is still yet to be answered. What the heck do you learn in boot camp anyway? What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole.young and we're back with another video. Today I wanted to go through my complete boot camp curriculum because I know watching me go through this journey has inspired some of you to consider it for yourselves and I think it's super important to know what you're getting yourself into before taking the leap. Now, a little disclaimer, not all boot camps are created equal, but I think that my boot camps curriculum gives you a good idea of what you should be looking for for whatever boot camp that you choose for yourself. So, when I first got accepted into boot camp, I entered into a four week program that was completely remote and self paced, meaning I didn't have to sign into class for it. We went over the basics of everything that I would need to know before getting started in the intensive part of the program. This was the basic JavaScript definitions that I would need to focus on, things like higher order functions, the this context, and also basics of how to get our machines set up and prepared for the first day of class. So starting off week one, day one, we had orientation, then we jumped right into lectures about Git and GitHub for paired programming. Then for the rest of the week, we had HTML, CSS and Flexbox, how to debug, the document object model or the DOM, and DOM manipulation. Later on that week, we had a homework on DOM manipulation. I remember feeling really confident this week because most of what I was learning was review, but that soon changed. Week two was a complete 180. We jumped right into the back end learning express and a single wait to start off the week. Then we learned databases and SQL. Pretty sure that was just to torture us. And we went over schema design. The next day we completely flipped the script and learned Node Postgres, a much easier way to use databases when you're using JavaScript. And then we learned express routing and how to make our routes restful. We ended the week learning SQLize, made my life so much easier and we practice for the rest of the week. Week three, we started off in Webpack. Not too bad. We learned what a single page application was and how to use Ajax. And then the next day on Tuesday of that week, we had a review called Pillars that was everything we had learned in boot camp that far. I don't think I did too bad, but I didn't do great on it. I still was really fuzzy on a lot of the concepts. The next day, just when I thought it wasn't going to get any harder, we started learning React. And that is where I started to completely question all of the life choices that I had made up until that point. The rest of the week, we touched on different React concepts like the component lifecycle and had a lot of practice building applications using React and Express, SQLize, and a lot of the other frameworks we had learned up until that point. The homework on React that we had due on that Sunday was around the time you guys saw the video of me crying about boot camp. And rightfully so, honestly, I spent almost every day that week working on that homework and still did not finish it before I had to leave for my niece's birthday party. I was salty. Week four, we learned Redux and React Redux using Connect and Thunk Middleware. Then we jumped into React Router, how to set up our routes, and React Forms because it wasn't confusing enough as it is. <sighs> so week five was my favorite week up until that point. 
it was our junior phase final project week. So we basically had four out of the five days to work on a full stack application based on a prompt that we were given. And despite how confused I was all of the previous weeks, this was the first time I actually started to feel like a real full stack developer. All of the confusion started to lift. I started to actually understand how data was flowing from one end of the application to the other. And it was just such a beautiful feeling to be able to read the criteria and actually have a working application at the end of it. I felt awesome. After a long week of building, I don't really remember much about week six, but I do remember that we went over authentication, JWT, and a whole host of abstract data types, data structures, and algorithms, basically to prepare for what was coming next. Week seven, we had a week off to build a project of our choosing. I don't really like to talk about it. We came back on week eight and that was when the real fun began and that was senior phase. We jumped right in to a group project building an e-commerce site based on criteria we were given and were put into groups of four. This was my first time working in a group on any type of coding project and it was such a good experience. We learned how to use GitHub organizations to organize our tasks. We learned how to assign roles. We had code reviews and just in general learned how to work in a group where everyone was being able to input decision making on this project. I loved it and it was really great getting to use different technologies and experimenting with things like styling. Week nine, we got about four days to build an application of our own and I decided to build my YouTube Google Chrome extension and then the final three weeks, we were put into groups and set out on our own to create applications of our own choosing. The only criteria we had is that we had to use at least one new technology. So the team that I was placed in with awesome developers, we were really ambitious and picked an idea that would involve us having to learn a lot of new technologies. We decided to build something that was going to use augmented reality and we wanted to kind of pay tribute to art and music. So we ended up building an application that would empower artists to create cool 3D audio visual experiences that you can view in real world in real space and be able to hear from the device that you are viewing it on. You can check out all of the projects that I built in this senior phase in this video right here, but overall senior phase was where everything started to come together, working in groups, being able to use the skills that we had, and most importantly, learning how to read documentation, research really well, and just debug our own code was like such a valuable experience and like a huge part of being a software engineer, you know? That final project was definitely by far my favorite because picking something super ambitious was really intimidating to me at first, but just starting to dig through documentation, figuring out new things, and also feeding off of the energy from my teammates, it really inspired me as a developer to really push myself beyond my limits because when you pick things that are maybe a little intimidating at first, it gives you a chance to grow in your skill set, and it's just a whole lot of fun. So I hope that this gives you some insight on what it's like to be in boot camp, on week to week what you should expect, and. I hope that it gives you a good basis of understanding of what you should look for in a boot camp of your own if you are thinking about taking that leap for yourself. You guys, I had a lot of fun making this video for you, so please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions that you have in the comments below, or you can DM me on Instagram. I love you guys, and I'm rooting for you, and can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.